Nationalization Act of 1994 and Paragraph A, Section 6 PD, Number 223, as amended, the Board for Professional Teachers hereby adopt the Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers. Preamble Teachers are duly licensed professionals who possess dignity and reputation with high moral values as well as technical competence in the practice of their noble profession. And they strictly adhere to observe the practice this set of ethical and moral principles, standards, and values. So, we will move on to the Article 1, which is called Unlimitation. According to the Section 1, the Philippine Constitution provides that all educational institutions shall offer quality educational for all competent teachers. Committed to its full realization, the provision of this code shall apply to all teachers in school in the Philippines. And according to the Section 2, the code covers all public and private school teachers in educational institutions at the preschool, elementary, primary, and secondary, whether academic or vocational. Moving on, I will be discussing the Article 2, which is the teacher and the state. According to the Section 2, every teacher or school official shall actively help carry out and declare policies of the state and shall take the oath of to this effect. According to Section 4, every teacher shall possess and actualize the full commitment and devotion to duty. Lastly, according to Section 5, a teacher shall not engage in the promotion of any political, religious, or other partisan interest and shall not directly or indirectly solicit, require, collect, or receive any money or service or other valuable materials, any person or any entry for such purposes. Next, Article 3, which is the teacher and the community. According to Section 2, every teacher shall provide leadership and initiative to actively participate in community movements for moral, social, educational, economic, and civil betterment. According to Section 8, every teacher is possessed from freedom to attend church and worship as appropriate but shall not use his position and influence to process others. Also, Article 4, which is a teacher and a profession. So, according to Section 1, every teacher shall actively ensure the teaching is the noblest profession and shall manifest genuine enthusiasm and provide in teaching as a noble calling. According to Section 1, a teacher is not entitled to claim credit to work not of his own and shall give due credit for the work of others which he may use. So now, we will tackle the Article 5 which is the teacher and the higher authorities in profession. According to Section 2, every teacher shall not make any false accusations charges against superiors, especially under anonymity. However, if they are valid charges, he should present such under oath to competent authority. Article 6, which is close officials, teachers, and other personnel. Section 3, school officials shall encourage and attend the professional growth of all teachers under them, such as recommending them from promotion, giving them due recognition for meritorious performance, and allowing them to participate in conferences and training program. So, Article 11, which is disciplinary and a 
which is effectivity. According to Section 1, this code shall effort upon approval by the Professional Regulation Commission and after 60 days following its publication in the official gazette or any newspaper or general circulation. So I'm done already discussing the Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers and I hope you learned something about my discussion. Thank you and God bless.